All right, folks, I'm back here at uh, my digging spot with my brother dugout. Uh, I'm getting into the kitchen here, I think. Got a lot of charcoal, some big pieces of limestone uh, have been all stacked up together there. And I've got a broken point. I'm not sure if I broke it. Some pottery shards, some bone fragments. There's another bone fragment, pottery, got some uh, incising or cord marking on the, some of these pieces you can see here, maybe, not sure if you can see, and then I pulled this dude out, I got a rim shard, it's got holes punched in it, or uh, circular depressions, if you go to the other side it's bumps, I mean that's just awesome, that's the best piece of pottery I've ever found, and then I came across this interesting pointy thing sticking out here. I'm finding bone and stuff. I think I might be in a kitchen. I don't know. But this, uh, just can't figure out what it is. Doesn't have any sharp edges on it. So, it's in there pretty good. I'm going to try to work it out here. See what we got. I just don't know what that could be. I hope it's something cool. Kind of looks like bone, but... I can't imagine. That's coming out. Just a piece of antler, it looks like. But it's kind of, I don't know if it's been round, rounded off here. Got a lot of dirt on it, I can't see, but it's definitely like a brow tine or something, I believe. Alright, folks. Uh, dugouts over here working and we got a broken point here it's already pulled it out of the ground it could have been pretty nice some pottery and I got uh, I'm working this hole slowly by hand I got a pretty good size piece of pottery coming out here it's about that long I'm trying to work it and make sure I don't break it Dug out just said he's got another piece of pottery coming out. Let's see what he's got going on. Yep, there sure is. See what you got? I'm not sure I'm focusing here. Cord markings on it. Uh, thanks for watching. Later. All right, folks, back again. Got my piece of pottery. Pretty good size. Worked out here. At least the edges are defined. I don't know what it's going to take to get it to pop loose without breaking it. God, I hope I don't break it. Not sure how fragile it might be. Yep, there it comes. Oh, it's a rim shard. Um, oh, look at the holes on here. Man, oh my goodness. You can see where it starts to bulge out on the bottom. Got a nice, oh my God, that's the best piece of party I've ever found. That's awesome. I'll take it. There's empty pockets. Thanks for watching. Well, if y'all can see, I pulled just pulled that big uh, rim shard pottery. There's another piece here. Looks like uh, it's part of the same bowl. And right above it is like a big piece of deer antler. It looks like it might have been in the bowl but we'll check back when we get it uh closer to being excavated thanks for watching all right folks the deer antler just popped loose ah. i've been digging it for a while i got that pottery underneath it ah. man i'm down in the uh zone below the plow undisturbed got pottery big pottery and uh, deer antler laying around in there this is pretty cool. Thanks for watching. I got that uh, other piece of good sized pottery right underneath this that I'm going to get in a minute. So we'll be back. Thanks. I just broke my piece of pottery I was working on into two pieces. 
It looks like the side of the bowl. There ain't no holes going on in that one. See if this one is ready to just pop up. Like there's rocks underneath it. There it comes. Yeah, that's that part of that same bowl I've been working on. You got it. He's got a big piece of pottery working here. I just pulled this rock out. It's uh, well, I don't know if it's. Oop, where's it at? I don't know that it's anything, but it's awful uh, smooth to come out of this uh, field here. All right, folks. Thanks for watching today's hunt. <clears throat> Here's my cleanup video. Uh, I got quite a bit of pottery today. Got some really cool stuff here. Maybe somebody can clue me in on the culture. Uh, this is the outside of the bowl. This is a rim shard. And depressions on the outside and bumps on the inside. Got a few rim shards here. There's another one. Got my best piece I ever found. It's just a pretty good size. And just an awesome piece. Uh, some of this stuff goes together because uh, I broke some of it getting it out of the ground. Uh, all these uh, black powdery pieces here were in the same area, about two and a half foot down uh, below the plow zone. And the bowl was kind of broken, what I have of it. And uh, this was appeared to be setting in the bowl. Uh, let me get my angle right again. I don't know if you can see, there's uh, cut marks there and we get the angle right got some more of them down here big old antler I don't know that's if that's elk or deer I uh, got this uh, also down in that area laying with the pottery uh, brow tine and it's pretty rounded off on the end I'm not sure if it was a flint napper or what but uh, pretty cool that it was laying in the campsite uh, some several different kinds of uh, cord marked pottery. A lot of pottery today. Didn't really do too good on the uh, arrowheads. Uh, all kinds of small pieces of pottery. Of varying sorts. Here's a black piece that's uh, cord marked, which appears to be a little different than this smooth bowl. Only got uh, one broken point. Not sure what this is. Unifaced flake, uh, maybe nothing, but I picked it up. All in all, a pretty good day. Uh, it's my third time digging there. And I uh, moved out a little farther in the field, and we didn't have as much flint in that area, but uh, tons of pottery. And as you saw in the video, my brother dugout was uh, digging a little bit farther away from me, and he was finding pottery, so it's pretty scattered. And uh, who knows what we may come up with. Uh, a lot of digs to come. This is Empty Pockets. Thanks for watching.